Okay, we are live now. <laughs> Finally, after some technical difficulties, right? But this is the real world. <laughs> yes. So then how are you today, Jana? I'm doing all right. Getting motivated to get things done because it's a long week. Yeah. And the holiday weekend. So yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. How was yeah. your how was your celebration of Thanksgiving? It was good. All right. It was, it seemed, um, the food seemed to be taking forever to cook. I don't know why. <laughs> so I felt like I was kind of sitting around and just waiting. Like, come on, come on. This has got to get done. I don't have anything else to do <laughs> until this is done cooking. So I'm just like, come on, come on, okay. come on. Yeah. What, what did you cook? Um, well, let's see. There was a, I always do sweet potatoes with um, maple syrup and brown sugar and butter and marshmallows mm. and then um, some garlic mashed potatoes super garlic um, mashed potatoes with uh, cream cheese and sour cream wow that and sounds then, nice <laughs> and then a turkey breast a ham uh, brown sugar and bacon green beans uh, pumpkin cheesecake <laughs> Um, and then, you know, you can, you have to have like the stuffing and the gravy and all that stuff. So, yeah. Wow. That sounds like a very nice menu, eh? <laughs> yeah. I, I always have to start the day before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And did you, did you have leftovers for the day after? No. Oh, no? leftovers. Yes. Yeah. We still have yeah. a little bit of leftovers. Okay. Like, this food needs to be eaten up. It's gonna go bad. I'm like, it's not going really bad anytime no, it's not. soon. It will be really gone. Good. Yes, I love the leftovers. That's all I've eaten. I think last night I cooked. Um, we grilled some chicken, and that was the first time I've cooked since Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was nice. That part was nice. So. Okay, good. That's nice. Well, thank you, Jana, for this uh, chat today that we are having with you. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, well, tell me about yourself. Who is Jana personally and professionally? Personally and professionally? Well, um, I'm a wife and a mom. I've been married for almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years next year. Um, I've got <laughs> Uh, my oldest is almost 19, and uh, I also have a 16-year-old and a six-year-old daughters. Um, let's see. Personally, <laughs> I've always loved being a mom. Um, I was raised, I guess, like in a traditional family, so my mom was always at home. Um, so I helped her kind of sort of make dinner all the time and um, help raise my brothers and sisters. Um Professionally, um, I'm, I guess I kind of say I wear a lot of hats because I do all the running around that a mom does and taking care of the kids and everything. And then um, I also work full time as a real estate agent. So I never had any intentions of getting into real estate until after I moved to Florida because um, I was raised um, seeing my dad do real estate. And I always thought, no, that's not something I ever want to do. So, and mostly because I know it took him away from the family quite a bit, and that's not something that I ever really wanted to do, but here I am doing it. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then, but at the end, what what uh, what was like the uh, motivation that took you to start a, in real estate? What what was like the say that the thing that you said? Ah, okay, I will try it. I will go and see what happens. Well, I've always loved Florida. And after moving here and looking at the homes and just seeing like the homes on the water, it just, I was like, okay, because I wanted to do something. And I've always been in some type of customer service or um, that sort of industry. And I thought, I think I could get into real estate because I love trying to share my love of Florida with people who are trying to buy a home here or even sell their home and get to a better place more where they would like to be. Yeah. So I started seeing the homes here and just basically one on the water because that's that's my dream is to somehow someday own a home on the water. Yeah, um, mine too. <laughs> so but until I get there, I'll be content with where I am. So, uh, really just trying to help people get the experience that 
of what they want and where they want to be. Okay, so, that's yeah. nice. All right. So then, uh, what is the name of your business? Um, well, my my business is Gianna's Florida Homes, and okay. I'm with uh, Century Twenty One List Smart. All right. Think, and yeah. then what, what, what kind of services are you offering with this uh, company or by yourself? Well, um, something that I have that makes me a little different because I've never been one to really go with the flow of everything. I kind of, I don't go against it, but I find more more ways to do things, I guess, kind of that are outside of the box of what people normally do that still work. And something that I really was really, really happy about um, was that I have the opportunity to really help for sale by owners more um, that want to be a for sale by owner um, and help them save money when they want to sell. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what I can offer that's, that's really different. There are some that can offer that, but when you look at the Century 21 platform, Everyone knows who Century 21 is. It's been around for, gosh, I can't remember exactly how many years, but I remember seeing signs when I was younger and thinking, that is the ugliest sign. And that gold <laughs> color. Like, oh my God, <laughs> but yeah, it's Century 21 was smart. So, yeah. So then you, you, could, you can say that that is your difference. That is what makes you different from, different from your competitors. Yeah, I that would be like your, your difference between all the other realtors. Yeah, that's what makes I guess my my um, real estate agency different. But how I'm different is I go the extra lengths to help people. I usually go beyond what I should be doing, which is a bad habit of mine. Something I've always done. I always go above and beyond what I should. So, um, and really just trying to help people achieve what they want to achieve and get to where they want to be. All right. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's a, that, that sounds nice because at the end, I, I suppose, well, when you are looking for a house, you feel that protection, you feel that somebody is trying to find what you need. So that is always a really nice thing, no? It's not like you feel like, oh, when I can find my house and it's all by yourself. So then you have this support and it's really cool. So yeah, and I, yeah. And I'm experienced everything or I'm am experienced everything right now that the buyers go through in buying a home, all of the worries and all of the little things that just pop into your head in the middle of the night when you wake up at four and you're like, I can't go back to sleep. Oh my gosh, what if this happens with the house? What if this happens? What if they didn't like find something that was wrong with the house and it goes wrong after we move in. Oh, yeah. All the little things that pop into your head when you're buying a house is going on in my head right now because we're in the process of buying a home. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I well, know what I mean, feeling. I think that <laughs> yeah. um, when you get a new house, there are always things to repair or there are always things to improve, right? Well, this, right. this is, has been this has been my experience. What I can say is that, okay, you buy a house, you buy a property that is in good condition, but always there are things to improve. So don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's, always, there's always a honey-do list. That, that's yeah. never ending. And if you have a honey-do list that is complete, you're very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's true. Okay, so then um, what inspired you to pursue your business idea? Oh, what inspired me to pursue it? Um, well, well, my husband has always been the breadwinner in our family, and I wanted to start bringing home some bacon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what can I do? Um, and I was in the, I was a medical assistant um, quite a few years back. And I decided that that just wasn't for me anymore. Um, and I've tried um, some other small businesses on my own. And I felt like I needed a little bit more support and something that I could really jump into and learn not everything about it because real estate is constantly changing you can, there's you can't really learn everything about real estate because there's constantly new things coming in yep. so um really just kind of choosing something that i knew i would be constantly learning because i love learning as well so 
That's great. That's right. Yeah, keep yeah, you keep active, right? Right. Oh yeah, always. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, uh, well, how the, how uh, has the pandemic challenged you personally and professionally? What are the challenges that you have faced? Um, well, trying to, um, I guess, help some people get over some of their fears mm -hmm. um, and wanting to wait until times get better. I mean, because a lot of times if you wait until things get better, you will be waiting who knows how long. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's really not a good thing to just put things off. It's mm -hmm. better to get it done and over with and do it safely and um, as effectively as you could under the circumstances. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's a good thing. Yes, because sometimes you postpone and you say, oh, when a better time comes, but what happens if that better time never comes? <laughs> right? right? Yeah. It, it, it might be similar to when you buy a new dress and you say, I oh, for a special occasion, but what happens if the special occasion never arrives? Or Right? Five years later, that dress is still sitting in your closet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was that person when I was little. Oh, I, I want to get that dress to wear it at a special occasion. And then I got to the point where I'm like, um, there's never going to be a special occasion when <laughs> yeah. I'm older because I've gone through this when I was younger. There's no, there's not going to be a special occasion. So I'm going to make the occasion and I'm just going to wear it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Let's make the occasion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So then how do you see yourself in, a, in the near future, in a few years from now? In a few years. Well, um, I'm in the middle of getting my broker's license. Um, I should be done with that course here within the next month and a half. Hopefully I have the time. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I plan on to continuing to do, um, sales, but I'm also going to get into the property management, um, world. Oh, so. that's nice. Yes. I might need you in the future then. <laughs> I don't want to manage these tenants again. <laughs> it's not nice. I don't like it. Okay. So then, uh, how are you serving our community? Serving the community. Well, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, being in the position of needing help, which I think everyone goes through times like that. Um, since we moved here, and in the past, because when you, you, you make plans to do things and you can never control the outcome sometimes because yeah. it just happens and things happen. So um, I have, I enjoy donating, um, whether it's toys or clothing, um, sometimes food to food pantries, because I've been in those situations and I know that stuff is so important. And a lot of people, they don't want to ask for help um, and they don't even know where to go for help. So um, I like being able to send them where they need to go when they're looking for help, whether they want help with their bills being paid, help with their rent, because a lot of people don't realize that these places are out there for you. And right now there are so many that just needed help with Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's with everything that's going on right now in the economy and everything, it's just like, there's so much because I don't think we've ever been in the position where we've been in today where there's so many people that need help with like whether I said it's bills or food or even Christmas. Um, I saw the other day something that like really kind of touched me. Um, something someone made a post on Facebook saying, hey, let's just do a thread of things that you have that you want to get rid of, just post it. And if people need it, they can comment or whatever. And um, you can get together and do the transfer or whatever. And I thought that's, that's really amazing because we don't realize how many people could need something that we have that we just have sitting mm -hmm. around that we're not even yeah. using. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's nice. That's yeah. Always yeah. donating or contributing in that way to society is really cool. Yeah. And I used to be, I'm like, no, I'm going to sell that and make some money off of it. I'm like, no, because there's people out there that really need that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll just find someone who needs it. Then again, it might sit around in my house for a little bit longer until I find somebody. But yeah, because there are people that need things that you have that we just really kind of take for granted. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm, that's nice. So then, uh, <clears throat> would you have any special advice for all the business owners that are like you? Any special advice? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, I mean, any any business owner, anyone who has a business, they grow, they go through phases where they ask themselves, "Why am I doing this?" Why am I doing this? I'm not where I wanted to be yet. I haven't done very much, but then we have to look back and see where we started and what you were doing in the very beginning and look where you are today and see how far you've come and make sure that you're putting those positive thoughts into your head and reading things that are uplifting and help you move forward and not backwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yes, because yeah. when you start your own business, he's like, well, ups yeah, and down. It's, it's, it's up and down. It's up and down. I mean, I don't think there's anyone that has started a business and they just go right to the top. I had to explain <laughs> that to my husband with real estate because he expected some things in real estate that were not humanly possible in the real estate world. If, every, <laughs> yeah, if if what he thought was true with real estate, everybody would be millionaires that did real estate just from starting out. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it's a, it's definitely something that you have to build and does not come on its own. You have to be motivated. You don't, you have to have um, your own routine. You have to make your own schedule. You can't rely on someone telling you, this is what you need to get done today. And you go to work from nine o'clock in the morning and at 4.30, you're done with your job. It's it's after 4.30. Sometimes it's till midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Just don't That's forget awesome. why you started and where you want to be and make your goals. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Have your goals, right? And, and don't give up. Right. Yeah. Never give up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then do you have any special offer for the members of this group? Uh, the members of our Babel, uh, yeah. there's not really any offers that I can do, but I can always um, give a free home valuation if you're looking to sell or purchase. Mm -hmm. or, um, I can help you out any way possible that I can in that area. Um, but if you are looking to sell, I would be happy to... Um, come by and take a look and do some research online through my MLS and um, give you an estimate on what your home would be valued at if you're looking to sell. No, oh, that's nice. Now you see, it's a good offer. <laughs> and, um, and, if yeah, buy and, mm -hmm. and if you're, if somebody's planning to buy something, if they're planning to buy something that um, I can offer that has really, um been upsetting to some agents because i mean that's it is part of our paycheck but we have what's called um a buyer's rebate mm -hmm. it really depends on a few things um which i won't go into that but we i have the capability of giving up to one percent back cash back um when you purchase a home wow that's nice there are a few stipulations but um, yeah, that's something that I can offer to buyers. So that's great. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Thank you. So then, yeah. how can we reach? How how can we reach you? What is your contact information? Um, well, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Gianna underscore Lowry. Okay, Gianna underscore Lowry. Mm -hmm. uh, my website is Gianna's Florida Homes dot com. Okay. Um, and then I have my Facebook page at uh, Gianna's Florida Homes. Okay. So then, um, like this, we can reach you and ask you questions or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And anyone can um, send me a message through Facebook or Instagram. And uh, my phone number is 727-366-3004. Okay. <laughs> they are calling you. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a customer. <laughs> yeah. Give me just a okay. okay, well, thank you so much. We have some messages here from our Babel members that say, let's, let's see, Brad is there saying hello. We had a great Thanksgiving. Yes. 
And then uh, Nishoni and Anna is here. She's a very real, reliable realtor. Yes, of course. Yes, she is. And then um, we have Anna says, hmm, bacon. When you talk about the bread, <laughs> the bacon. <laughs> uh, Sylvia is here and Arlene. Well, when we were talking about the um, the the um, why we started a business, well, Brad is saying that don't forget why you started. Yes, that's that's true, right? Never forget why you started your business, and never give up. Okay, so well, thank you everybody for attending this uh, very nice chat with Jana. I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, thanks for your time, Jana, and for sharing with us who you are and what you can, what you are offering to this society and contributing to the world. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you. <laughs> I, <laughs> let's have a nice day, everybody, and see you soon. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.